Your first alert forecast with meteorologist Patrick Evans. They're still lurking out there, though. We're going to keep our eye out for those murder hornets. Beautiful morning out at the Classic Club. Uh, the winds have calmed down. The skies are nice and clear, and our temperatures a little bit milder, but we still have red flag warnings. They abound across Southern California, the desert southwest. Freeze concerns, frost concerns, coupled with that very dry conditions. And underneath that red flag warning is a high wind warning for the Inland Empire and parts of the coastal areas. So uh, the Orange County fire that's burning now, uh, winds are going to be very tough for the firefighters. Here's some good news. Yesterday, our air quality was about as bad as it gets because of those gusty winds picking up a lot of sand, dust, and ash from the recent fires. Well, today it is in the moderate range, a great deal of improvement. And we're looking at mostly sunny conditions today. The winds have lightened up here. They're still very gusty as you move out of the valley headed west. Uh, close proximity to this area of low pressure keeps some wind speeds up across Southern California. High pressure will build in over the next couple of days. As that occurs, our daytime highs will start to warm back up closer to seasonal averages. Right now, if you're headed out this morning, still in the upper 50s, Palm Desert, Cathedral City. Otherwise, we're in the 60s. Uh, a pretty nice start to the morning. Desert Hot Springs checking in this morning at 60 degrees. Winds have not been nearly the kind of winds that we were looking at yesterday morning. Desert Hot Springs, 10 mile per hour winds. They clocked a 54 mile per hour wind gust yesterday in DHS. So today, uh, a large improvement in that regard. Those winds are generally offshore. So the wind flow pattern offshore, keeping things dry, taking the dew points down. Our temperatures, though, will be a little bit warmer. Should be around 78, maybe close to 80 today, but we get back into the 80s by tomorrow. That low tracking farther toward the east, high pressure building in from the Pacific, keeping skies clear and starting to elevate numbers. Tomorrow will be in the lower 80s. From there on the Comfort Air 7 day forecast, we get into the mid 80s on Thursday. For your Halloween weekend, we've dialed up 92 degrees. It'll be a little warm for the pumpkins. Temperatures will stay in the 90s through early next week as we stretch out the weekend, bringing daylight saving time to an end, although I'm not sure that 2020 deserves another hour of time. Mm. <laughs> the can the uh, pumpkin needs another candle. It's 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 going on and off, on and off. So maybe hear that, Pat.